Hi, I'm David Land and I'm with Tulsa Landscape. Today we're going to learn how to program a Hunter Pro-C controller to operate your home sprinkler system. system. The first feature we'll need to program is the current day and time. So we're going to turn the dial over to that position. First thing that comes up is the year. We can use the plus and minus buttons to change the year. Arrow right or arrow left button to advance to the next portion of the program. It's set for month four. And the day of the month is, it's actually 12, so I'm going to hit the minus button and turn it down to 12. Arrow right again, and there's the AM and PM, so I'm going to leave it on PM. Uh, the hour, I'm going to turn it down, it's 1 o'clock, and the minutes are 1.45. If I hit the arrow right again button, it returns to the year. So we've got the, we've got the uh, date and time program now. The next function we need to program is set program start times. This is going to start your program, what time of day it comes on. And it defaults to the 8 o'clock position. So for the first start time here, it says it's 8 o'clock that it will come on. We could hit the minus button and turn it down, get it watering a little earlier in the morning. It moves in 15 minute increments. And so it's set now for 6 o'clock. We can hit the arrow right button and it has a second start time and a third and a fourth. Normally we'll only use one start time a day. So we're going to leave two, three, and four in the blank position. So the next thing we have to tell it is station run times. How long to run each of the individual stations in your yard. And in this example we have three stations. We have number one is the front shrubs, number two is the front lawn, and number three is the back lawn. So it's on station one right now, and it's set for five minutes. We're going to add a little more time, take it up to ten minutes for the front shrubs. Station two is set for 15 minutes, and I'm going to take it up using the plus button to 20 minutes. And then station three is the backyard, and it's for 10 minutes. And that's a different type of head, and so we'll just leave it on 10 minutes. The last thing we have to do is hit station days to water. We have to tell it what days of the week to come on. And as you can see, there's a Monday through Sunday uh, with icons above them. Each of those icons are a raindrop. I can use the plus or the minus button to delete or add the icon. So Monday is flashing right now. If I hit the plus button, it leaves the icon and advances to Tuesday. If I hit the minus button, it erases the icon and moves to the next day. Again, I hit the minus button, erases the icon and moves. Hit the plus button, it leaves the icon and moves. Minus, remove, minus, remove. So it's shown now two icons on Monday and on Thursday. So those are the days it would operate now. So we could always go back and use the arrow back button uh, to change the other days. Uh, maybe to do two more days a week or whatever we choose. That's your basic operation for days to water. So the next function is to set pump operation. And normally, we're going to set this once and leave it alone. And this is for each individual station. So we're going to just make sure that it's on for each station. So it's flashing in the on position. If I hit the arrow right button, it tells me that number two is on. You could hit the minus button and turn it off, or the plus button and turn it on. And we want to leave it on. So I'm also going to hit station three and make sure it's on. And that's your set pump operation. The next thing is seasonal adjustment. And this is just a factoring program. So it affects the station run times over here. And it's a factoring. Right now it's 100%. So if the program is set for a station run time of 10 minutes, it would 100% of that would run for 10 minutes. If we moved it down to, say, 50% it would run for half that time or half of 10 minutes which would be 5 minutes. And you can make it whatever portion you want. It's just a quick way to globally change the system without having to get in and change each individual setting. But normally it will be left in 100%. I want to go back to the running the system now in automatic because we've programmed everything in to do normal operation. So if we leave the system in the run position, the clock will be shown, and what will happen then is the system will run on the program days for the, in, the days that we've programmed in, the run times for each station, and it will start at the time of day that we've uh, 
told it to program the system to. Now, if we don't want the system to operate, we can turn it to the off position, the system off. And what that does is it suspends watering, but the programs remain in the controller. The clock will continue to function, and whenever we're ready to resume automatic function again, turn it back to run. The next feature is manual single station, and you can come over here. This does not change a programming. This is a one-time operation, and it doesn't stay in the memory of the controller. But we can use this to program any individual station. It's set on station one, where I can use the arrow button and go to station three. I can adjust the number of minutes and turn the system to the run position then. And what happens is the little sprinkler head icon flashes, the system comes on, and it will count down the minutes. But it won't remember this in the memory of the controller. It's a one-time operation. I can always cancel it out by turning the system to the system off position. The next feature is the manual start. And this would run the complete program that we've just installed. So what we would do is leave the main dial in the run position, and then we're going to press and hold the right arrow button for three seconds. And it's going to come and begin with station one for 10 minutes, then it'll advance to the second station, then the third station, and then completes this, the program and uh, returns to the off position. Uh, this is just if you want to water your complete program one time, um, but it's done manually can always be canceled out by turning to the system off position. If your system is equipped with a rain sensor, you want to leave it in the active position and the system will uh, be suspended if we get rainfall and reset itself automatically. So the system would normally be in the run position and the rain sensor would stay in the active position. I hope this video has helped you understand how to use your controller. You want to check TulsaLandscape.com Look for the scheduling video as well to help you prepare the most efficient program to use your system and use the least amount of water possible. Also, look for our blog, tulsalandscape.com backslash blog, for a lot of great articles to help you. Thanks for stopping by today.